guys, CJR here today with a video games and kind of toys pickups video. It's been a long time. Hi, I say hello. Yeah, you say hi real quick. Hi, everybody, look at this. That's some toys which we're going to show off in the video that you're going to see after this one. We just finished shooting um, Saturday's uh, Dream Quest episode. Uh, check it out. Somebody sent to Andrew a box of uh, very, very cool toys. Uh, to see what they sent him, feel free to check out Saturday's video. Nope, they're going to see that later. Yeah. You can show them this stuff though. Anyways, I'm going to hop right into this. Um, so this is the first video back uh, since my surgery. I just shot that Dream Quest video. I go into it there. I wasn't planning on shooting this, but then I decided I have enough stuff to show off for a pickups video. So I'll go into the whole surgery thing there. You can probably barely make out that hideous scar on my neck. Um, I go into it on Saturday's video, so just feel free to go check that out. Um, anyways, I'm going to get into this. I was at a thrift store. Um, I was trying my hand at looking for a thrift store, like games at a thrift store. My pickups, as you guys know, have been very slow for the last couple weeks. I haven't found anything. I haven't been looking for anything. Um, struck out at the, at the uh, thrift store, but I did find this very cool, very large uh, helicopter for 10 bucks, still in the original packaging, so it was brand new. Um, very cool. I decided to pick this up for the kids, for Andrew specifically, because I just picked these guys up here, which I'll show next. So I was at Toys R Us, and they had these G.I. Joe sets on for half price. Um, I've been dying to get some of uh, G.I. Joe stuff that was kind of more like the original stuff that I played with. And uh, this is the closest thing. They're calling this uh, G.I. Joe, I guess, 50th anniversary. Um, stuff and it's kind of a mix it looks like between the um, original toys and the movie kind of stuff um, I don't remember a character named Cobra Eel I don't know you have to let me know but Flint's in there too comes with two vehicles the Jeep and the uh, little boat so I'm pumped to play with these with with him uh, yeah you can show them that quick those are some stickers that um, it's like yeah, that's Yoshi sticking his tongue out. Let's see, so just so they know, for reference, how much you look like him. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, it, um, somebody sent, along with um, a Dreamcast game, somebody sent Andrew a really cool package of toys. Here's the second one, two snow-based vehicles. Um, I want to say that this was 30 or 25 and the other one was 20 bucks, so not too bad. Two vehicles and two figures. Uh, what are they calling these? <coughs> Um, uh, Battle Below Zero, the Ghost Hawk and Cobra Wolf uh, are the two vehicles. The Cobra is a bigger one of the two. Um, Snake Eyes with his vehicle here, and they're calling this guy Ice Viper. I don't remember Ice Viper. Storm Shadow, I remember, but... Uh, anyway, so very pumped to get these. I'm, I'm actually really excited to play with these with Andrew. I, I loved playing with G.I. Joe's when I was a little kid. And I'm sure I still do. Uh, the Club Nintendo shirt. I ordered it. Um, I want I frantically, like a lot of people, wanted to order something to use my points before they announced that they were going to release some other physical stuff. Uh, this shirt sucks. I hate it. I think it's terrible. This is the NES Remix shirt. I think it's a terrible shirt. Um, it's just got the... I don't need to open it. It has an NES Remix patch on the side arm, and that's the best part about the shirt. That's literally it. It's, um, um, Samus jumping through the original Mario uh, stage, and I think it's really lame. So I don't even know if I'm going to open that. I'll just leave it sealed. Uh, a couple Dreamcast games that are here from the Dream Quest episode. Feel free to check that out. Like I said, I made a trade with my buddy Matt for um, Rayman Legends. Actually, I bought it from him for 10 bucks. So can't beat that. Fa uh, absolutely fabulous games, the uh, Rayman games. Another thing I'm going to tease here. Um, I, I mentioned this, but, uh, I'm, I've gone Instagram crazy. Uh, if you haven't added me on Instagram, feel free to do so. I post a lot of stuff on there. A lot of game room pictures, uh, pickups well before they make it to here. Uh, I post, uh, several, I post several times daily. So go check me out. It's, uh, at CJR. I'm having a lot of fun with Instagram. I'm almost at 500 people, which is really cool. Anyways, I ordered a stack of, uh, custom-made Dreamcast games that I've been showing them off slowly on uh, on uh, Instagram. Um, I am going to do a separate video on these. Uh, I think they deserve a separate video. I just wanted to, well, these were just on the table. So I just wanted to quickly mention that. I will be doing a separate video on these. Uh, they're special order custom. 
uh, NTSC versions of PAL and JAP exclusive games. <coughs> so I will hold those for a video coming very soon. I picked up from DX.com some controller uh, stick nub things, rubber things. I've been using them for a good year now on my, uh, on everything, on PS3, 360, PS4, which absolutely is a must to have them on, and uh, Xbox One, and these ones here work absolutely perfectly. Uh, they're available at DX.com. You get five for, I think, two bucks. Super cheap and absolutely fantastic to use. I also ordered some uh, PS3 and 360 uh, rubber contact button contacts. These go under the buttons. They have they're made of rubber. Uh, they're what? Okay, you show them quick. Okay. Who is it? Who's on there? Yoshi. Yoshi. That is Yoshi too. Yeah. Two, right. Two Yoshis. Okay, and let Daddy finish here. Okay. So anyways, these are the button contacts that go under the actual button on the controller. Um, you push down the rubber and then there's a, a metallic material that makes contact with the circuit board. Anyways, um, my Turbo Graphics controllers, the rubber has um, deteriorated to the point where if I push the button it, it sticks. So what I'm going to try and do is use the 360 um, rubber pads on my uh, Turbo Graphics. So I'm going to make a video on that. Uh, it should work with most controllers that have that issue. Basically the rubber gets old and in my, the rubber on my controller cracked. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Um, and these are the only suitable replacements that I've been able to find and these cost like $1.60. So I'll be able to fix my... Uh, I'm pretty positive it's going to work. Uh, I'll be able to fix my Turbo Graphics controller for less than 2 bucks. So very happy about that. <coughs> Amiibos. I don't know why I bought these. I had I had a ten dollar or fifteen dollar credit at um, Best Buy, so I bought uh, Yoshi, and I grabbed Diddy Kong because I thought it was super rare at first, and I happened to see it, so I was like, oh, I think that's uncommon. I'll grab it. Maybe I can use it for trade. What a waste. I I really don't want to go down this road. For me, it's all or nothing, and uh, I think I'm too late to the party. <coughs> I can't have them all. I don't want any. Um, aside from the couple that I initially bought to play with, I'll probably end up opening these guys and using them. I'm not gonna. I don't really care to hold on to these because I would rather collect the uh, World of Nintendo toys. Uh, they're more detailed. They're cheaper. I just think they're a lot cooler. And I think they look cooler on the shelves too. Although these do, I, I really do like the packaging. Um, they are very displayable. Um, I'm just a bigger fan of the World of Nintendo stuff. And this is the. Uh, Wave 2 uh, Ganondorf. First time I've seen any of the Wave 2 stuff. Uh, at the store they also had Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong, which are part of Wave 1, but they're rebranding as Wave 2. It actually had, um, you can see top left, Series 1-2, and uh, the Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong both said that also, even though they're part of 1-1. So that's the only one I found. There's a tune length. There's supposed to be a... What's it called? Mother Brain from Metroid. <clears throat> I thought this Ganondorf was supposed to be a large figure, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, there's supposed to be a Samus, I thought, too, in the... Uh, these are 2-inch. In the 6-inch or 4-inch, the bigger figure. And then I thought there was a, supposed to be a really big uh, Mother Brain and something else. Anyways, I posted that on my Facebook page, the new series that's coming out. Um, anyways, guys, that's it for my video games related pickups and uh yeah as always feel free to check me out at cjr on uh, instagram facebook the usual stuff and uh till the next episode okay buddy this is yoshi and mario yeah you want to say bye to everybody look at these andrew say bye andrew say goodbye to everybody bye everybody it's time to go have dinner so I so will have dinner. We'll have dinner too? Yep. Yeah. They gotta go for dinner too. Okay guys, till the next episode.